In the final months of Sri Lanka's 25-year civil war, there was a last push by government forces against the Tamil Tigers in the north of the country, away from the gaze of the international media and NGOs. They were prevented from witnessing the fight in which the UN believes 40,000 people died. Now an international team of investigators says it has found evidence that civilians were deliberately targeted by bombardment and subject to other war crimes between late 2008 and into 2009. Violations of international law were committed by both sides, but the investigation found evidence that Sri Lankan security forces were responsible for the vast majority, including widespread torture, sexual violence and enforced disappearances. Investigators also describe such established command and control structures that charges of crimes against humanity could be leveled against senior military commanders, government officials and members of the Tamil Tigers. The report, commissioned by an Australian law policy group and written by experts on international criminal law and war crimes, also found evidence that many of the crimes continue to this day perpetrated by the Sri Lankan armed forces on the civilian population. One of the authors of the report says a particular concern now is attempts to cover up the crimes committed. And it makes it perhaps more difficult to prove the guilt because evidence has been destroyed. But on the other hand, when people destroy evidence, it's because they know they've done something wrong. Already two resolutions have been passed at the UN Human Rights Council calling for Sri Lankan government action on persistent allegations of war crimes. And over the weekend, a US official said Washington was intending to sponsor a third resolution in March. Details of its content were not given, although the imposition of sanctions was ruled out. On Tuesday, the Sri Lankan president invoked the language of the war on terror to answer his critics. Every powerful country should realize the difficulty in defeating terrorism. What we faced was a more serious and brutal challenge than they ever faced. The report concludes that without a comprehensive, independent international investigation, reconciliation will not be achieved in Sri Lanka and those who continue to abuse the civilian population will be emboldened. Shihabritansi, Al Jazeera.